Alexa Stickle, and I am an expedition leader for No Barriers Youth. What global issue are you most passionate about? Um, I would say environmental stewardship. I think that encompasses a lot of different themes that are important. Um, my pet project lately has been reducing the use of single-use plastics because there are things that we use for seconds and plastic lasts forever in the environment. Um, I think fomenting a love of nature and wildlife is really, really important as well. Um, and reducing our carbon footprint to the degree, the degree that we can. What's the most bizarre food I've tried while traveling abroad? <laughs> um, I have to say that was recently, I was in Mexico, um, in central Mexico, and I saw chapulines on the menu. And I know what chapulines is from living in Costa Rica, it's a grasshopper, but I thought there's no way that that's actually a menu item. Um, it was, so it was a, a fried tortilla with fried grasshoppers on top of it and a special sauce. And it was interesting because I could feel all the little, they're called tarsal segments, stuck in my teeth. Um, so it was a very uh, intimate experience with an animal that I thought I knew everything about, but I didn't know how it tasted. <laughs> Describe a favorite memory while traveling with students. Uh, this is a hard one because there are so many incredible moments I've had with students in the field, but one of my favorites was we were traveling on a river in the lowland rainforest and uh, we had been hearing a lot of noise, um, animal noise, from a particular bird called the great green macaw, but we hadn't yet seen this bird. Um, and the noise is really, really distinctive. Um, <laughs> so we're floating down the river. I'm hoping and praying that we're gonna get to see this bird. I told the students to watch out for the noise at any point. Um, but as we're floating, I kind of let go of the need to see that bird um, or for the students to see that bird and just enjoyed the river float. And we were seeing, we saw river otter, we saw caiman, uh, a couple of really rare um, shorebirds and uh, we were having an incredible time when all of a sudden I see some of the local guides freaking out, um, pointing up into the trees, and there's a troop of spider monkeys that are coming down, and they're coming down onto a troop of howler monkeys. And so those are two species that rarely interact. Um, so it was really, really cool to be able to see that interaction, and also to be able to see the spider monkeys from an edge, so you could actually see the way that they jumped from upper branches down to lower branches. Um, so it was a really cool behavioral opportunity to, to observe behavior of the animals. Um, and the students were just mesmerized, I was mesmerized, the local guys were mesmerized. Um, and just when I thought the, the day couldn't get any better, we hear like, Rah! you know, the great green macaw um, noise. And I couldn't believe it. We all looked up and four great green macaws fly over our heads. Um, it felt like a gift. And it was actually my birthday. I think it was my 28th birthday. Um, and that was for me like a gift from nature, or a gift from the universe. Um, and it was a really special moment that I got to share with my students. How do I make an impact in my local and global community? So I like to think that I make an impact on a global scale as an educator. Um, I work with students both on No Barriers Youth trips, but also on other types of trips uh, throughout the year. And I'm really passionate about wildlife, nature, um, and a lot of environmental issues. And um, I think that that passion that I have in imparting knowledge about those systems um, can inspire other people to, to care about them as well. I don't think as humans we're really good at protecting things that we are not familiar with or don't have some kind of a personal connection to. Um, so I feel like that's where my, where my role comes in, in in a global sense. And then in my local community, um, I'm really, I live in San Luis de Monteverde, so I actually live in one of our destinations in Costa Rica. And I'm really active in my local community. I often um, will volunteer to take part in community activities like uh, raising money for the church or for the uh, development association through soccer games or selling food. Um, I'll often volunteer for trail maintenance as well. We have um, a series of trails that people use recreationally in our community. Um, I'm also a member of the board of directors of a couple local organizations. And um, I'm always tutoring in math or English as needed for my neighbors.